What's up, guys? I just played a cheater, and I'm going to show you the game that I played, and then see if you can spot how I knew that I played a cheater. There's a couple of key things that happened, um, but I'll see if you guys can pick up on it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I was playing as black, and I'm playing the King's Indian. My opponent gets the nice big pawn center as usual. I'm doing also the normal stuff that you play in the King's Indian, and our opponent goes for the two bishops on e2 and e3. This is one way to play it. There's lots of different options, but this is pretty common. I struck at the center, and then I was trying to attack on the king side. Now, unfortunately, my opponent had him castled, so I wasn't really attacking the king. I'm just sort of expanding there and getting ready in case they decide to castle. They did not do that. They brought the queen out over here, and played this interesting move, g4, trying to just kind of shut down everything. I didn't like the look of that uh, because I wanted to have options for me for my bishop, uh, sorry, for my bishop this way, for my rook, and so I decided to go ahead and on passant just to, you know, kind of keep the position a little bit open over there, okay, but it does open up the age file for my opponent to, you know, use as uh, an attack. All right, so I brought the knight here. I'm trying to relocate it maybe over here to potentially jump in here if the pawn moves forward or to also think about coming back this way. Castles, I did bring the knight back and I did jump it into c5. And I was thinking if they take me, it will at least open up the B file and I can maybe use that in the future to attack um, White's King somehow, okay? They didn't take, they just retreated. Bishop D7, I'm thinking about Queen E8, you know, and maybe trying to attack here or playing C6 and B5. Just trying to open things up because White's gonna be attacking me. I need to do something, right, uh, on the other side of the board or in the center. So they do go for the Rook, double up the Rooks. I played h5, trying to shut down the battery here a little bit, but g4 is a nice move there to attack that. I traded, traded, played queen to e8, lining up on the pawn here. I have three attackers now, and white plays a nice move, bishop to b5 to block that off. Okay, I took it and brought the rook over. Now I'm lined up here. Looks like there might be some nice little tactics. If the knight can jump in, the queen wouldn't be able to take me. And they played knight c4, stops that, okay. Rook to f3, I'm trying to, again, create some tactics, like taking that, jumping in with check to win the queen, you know, things like that. They captured here with a fork. We traded. I lost the rook. And at this point, I'm basically uh, in trouble. The, the bishop gets traded off. The rooks are about to come down. Maybe the pawn's going to come forward, and it's not a good position for me. Okay. They capture here. Then the pawn. Then the rook. This pawn. The rook, the pawn, the knight. They get a queen and there's checkmate. So as you can see, I got smashed to smithereens, as they say, uh, just a you know really well-played game by my opponent. So did you notice anything? Uh, and I'll just real quickly go through one more time for you. Feel free to you know rewatch this, slow it down if you want. Here's the game one more time. Did you notice anything that would make you think that they cheated? And if not, that's okay. I'm gonna explain to you what it was uh, in just a minute here, but I'm just giving you a chance, feel free. Look over this. Uh, by the way, I didn't. Uh, I'm not showing the person's name. As you can see, it's just their rating. I didn't want anybody to send them any messages. So please don't do that. Anything at all that that jumps out at you as weird, or that you would suspect they cheated. There's actually a couple things uh, that I will mention here in just a minute. And the combination of all of them is why I strongly believe that this person did cheat. Okay, so that's the game. All right, let's talk about what it was. So the first thing. Um, at the end of the game, they had a 98 accuracy. Now, 98 accuracy in and of itself, I mean, I have games with, with 98 accuracy all the time, 100, 99, you know, they're short games or they're games that I'm very familiar with or my opponent blundered right from the beginning and it was pretty easy to follow through. You, you can get 100 accuracy in games, right? The thing is, it's very, very difficult to get 100 accuracy in games like this. Like, look at this position right here. Opposite side castling. That in and of itself is is very challenging to play, right? And then white starts attacking me. I start attacking here. There's lots of different options. There's lots of different ways that the game could go wrong, but my opponent navigated it all perfectly. Like all of this, all of this, perfect. Absolutely perfect, okay? Here, everything was perfectly well done. Even the, the, the finish here was all perfect, right? Exactly how Stockfish would do it. That's hard to, to believe, right, for one. But that wasn't even the biggest reason why I suspected them from, for cheating. The biggest reason, and I've, you've probably heard me say this before, the biggest reason, the number one reason, is the time usage, right? The time usage. So if you look carefully at the time, let's say, let's say we start from about here. Um, notice how long they take for each move, okay? 
three seconds, three seconds, six seconds, five seconds, three seconds, four seconds, two seconds, four seconds, three seconds, three seconds, four seconds, two seconds, five seconds, three seconds, four seconds. This goes on for the entire game. Okay. Every single move in this game was between, I think, two and most of them were between two and five seconds. Three, three and four were the most common one. There's a few that were five and six and a few that were two. Not a single move was played in less than two seconds. Did I play any moves less than two seconds? I did. I played quite a few moves. The opening was one part. And then even as we go through the game, there are moments. Let me see if I can find one here where I played very quickly. Yeah, this one. Played it in one second because I knew that's what I was going to do. I had thought about it, right? Let's see. This one was played in one second. Was played in two seconds. Okay. This one was played in one second. Was played in one second. Why am I telling you that? Well, there was moments in the game where I knew I could just play quickly. Why didn't my opponent do that? They, they never had a single moment in the game where they wanted to play quickly. Hmm. That's interesting, right? And if you go through the entire game, they spent about three to four seconds on every single move. Even in this position right here, there's a lot going on here, guys. This is a this is a complicated position. There, there might be tactics. There's a rook lined up with the queen. There's a fork here. You can take both ways. You can also do something with your rook and bishop over. I mean, it. there's a lot of options. Opponent just played five seconds. That's played the best move. Best move, best move, best move. Even here, this is a very interesting position. It almost looks like a mating net where if you push the pawn and then the rooks can come in, you can get checkmate. But how do you do it? Do you go check first and, or do you push the pawn first or do you use the knight? Or do you bring this rook down here first? There's like a lot of ways to do it. And my opponent just, boom, takes the pawn. The best move, right? And they push the best move. And then right here, why don't you get the queen right away? This is what you're trying to do. This is why you went here. This is why you did all this, right? Why don't you get the queen right away? No, you got to spend four seconds. Okay. Why don't you get checkmate in one move right away? I mean, this is really obvious for me, guys. As a 2300 rated player, this is like a super easy checkmate to find it. Why don't you just play it? No, you got to spend five seconds. Hmm. Okay. So the time usage was the big thing. Nobody who is a human being playing a normal game of chess, nobody will use their timeline. You just won't do it. That's the, even Magnus Carlsen, he would probably destroy me just like Stockfish. He wouldn't use his time like this. He would spend you know, some time at certain moments and he would play very quickly. Or he would just play quickly the whole game and beat me, right? But he wouldn't spend four seconds on every move. That, that's just, that's not how human beings work, okay? So that was how I knew also, those weird moves where he didn't, you know, play them quickly, stuff like that. And then also, I looked at his last three games. So not just my game, the two prior, 98 accuracy, perfect games. Uh, that's a pretty clear sign as well. So all of those things together, primarily the time usage is why I reported this person. And I'm very confident that once uh, chess.com investigates, this account will be closed. Very, very confident. So hopefully you guys learned something. Um and of course, uh, there's going to be some people that comment and say, you have no proof. You should not be accusing anyone of cheating. But I am. this is about as much proof as I'll, I'm ever going to get. So I, th I think it's pretty safe to say that they, they probably cheated. Anyway, hope it was an interesting video at the least. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp. Play smart. Take care.